Several reasons, all scriptural. One, uh, we understand that uh, God created us male and female, and in God's image, both of us are created. So you, it's not helpful to leave out half the, the uh, creation. The next one what, uh, is that in, uh, when, when Jesus was born, certainly Mary held her child. And when he was crucified and down from the cross, she held her child. And my guess, she said, this is my body and this is my blood. And if she could say that then, and if Mary Magdalene could be the first apostle to announce the resurrection, then why can't we do that now? Well, first of all, I think Lutherans talk about it the most and are the least likely to accept it. So we always have to pull ourselves up. I, one story, I started to work with a spiritual director about three years ago, and uh, not something I was part of my tradition at all. Uh, went on a semi-silent uh, spiritual retreat, so I had a chance to be quiet for a while. And uh, just this whole notion of grace, even though I, I, I believe in it intellectually, here it was, had not seeped in. And so she told this apocryphal story about a, some man who was in a hotel room at night, tripped over his bed, fell out the window, and was, was clung to the, the ledge all night long, all night long, for his, saving his own life, only to realize at sunrise that he was six inches off the ground the entire time. And she said to me, why can't you just let go, knowing that God's there? And so to have the feeling that I'm falling and I'm not afraid is a sense of grace that has just recently come to me. Um, and it's for us to learn how in Jordan it's possible for people of different religious beliefs or no beliefs to live together in, in peace and unity. As you know, um, in our country right now, there is um, in some sectors some sentiment that's anti-Muslim. And to see here in Jordan that Christians are valued, even though they're not the majority religion, that they're valued because they are Jordanians and they contribute to this society is very important. If we could somehow, all of us, understand that we have a common parent in God the Father, and that whether you have belief or none, all of us have dignity and worth, that would be important. Um, but to stop seeing somebody else as being so much the other that we don't recognize a brother or sister in somebody else. And there has to be security in this region. I've often said um, in my own context that without um, a strong and secure Israel, there won't be a free Palestine. But without a free Palestine, there won't be a secure Israel. And so somehow, how do we find common ground uh, where, where there will be peace instead of sort of staking out um, our own beliefs and saying that that's of more value than someone else's? So until we can see a common humanity, until as we as people of faith um, can learn to understand that, uh, that, that love and justice come from God and we are to act in that way, I think we'll, we won't get there. When I was first elected um, presiding bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, I got that question very frequently. And I didn't like that question because I thought uh, my parents raised me to believe that I could do um, what I put my mind to until um, a, a man came up to me and I, he said, I want you to sign your name, an autograph, for my eight-year-old daughter so that she will know that there's a place for anyone, any woman in the church. And then I had another experience with um, a woman um, whose church does not believe in the ordination of women, her in her 80s, and she came up to receive the sacrament, and she was weeping, and I thought she was so deeply moved. And afterwards, she must have been in her 80s, she said, when I was born and my father saw I was a girl, he said, we'll have no more of those. And I knew I could never be ordained, and now to see a woman bishop. So I've come to understand that it's not about me, it's about uh, the presiding bishop who happens to be a woman, and that there is a possibility for dignity and leadership for all of us that can be shared in the church.